if you have a lot of assets and debts, if you have some things, it's just easier to include it as a narrative. You want to explain something or so this, you know something that makes more sense to you guys. You can use something simple like this. So this is not something I got offline. This is something we use internally um, where, because if you noticed going back to those forms, there's nowhere to sign at all. There's nothing to sign. So this is an attachment that we've just come up with. It has you know just some fancy language about exclusive agreement of the parties. And then we just get right into it. We just have a heading for property division. Petition will receive as her sole and separate property, the below listed asset debts. And then we just bullet point out what they are. Same for respondent. Just keep it super simple, guys. Other orders. So if it's not an asset or debt division and you just want to include some, some narrative here, maybe it's how the house will be sold or just something that wouldn't just fit in here, include that. And then all you need to have here is, uh, you know, the signature line, somewhere for the parties to sign. So approved as to form and content, petitioner's name, respondent's name, place for the judge to sign. And this is what will be the last pages of your judgment.